What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another episode <clears throat> of the Draft to Glory. Let's go with the three, four, one, two. Um, it is Saturday. Oh, it is. I was. Oh, I was gonna say it's Saturday, and now the new promo has finished. Therefore, I have a feeling that draft rotation will have changed. As I showed yesterday, guys, the Pims are back in. And there is Pele. And today, I read the comments, and I do read the comments in general, in spite of a few people thinking I don't read the comments just because I don't bow down to every comment, so to speak. I think that's probably a really aggressive way to even say that. It's not that I need to bow down to comments, but people people assume... Look, at see, I'm telling you, man, the fives, yeah? Uh, people assume that if you don't do what they say in a comment, that you don't read the comments. I read the comments. And yesterday, there was a really good mix of... A lot of people love the challenge drafts. And then a lot of people like me building drafts that I play with, even though they don't like watching gameplay because it's important. It's more valuable, the types of players that I get. For example, right here, if I was going for a high-rated draft challenge, I'd just pick Jao Felix. There's just no kind of, no connection to anything beyond there. However, we have got Martial, Balde, and Inyaki Williams. Now, I've used Inyaki Williams before, and I didn't really like him. I have not used Balde for an 86-rated card he is an absolute joke. And so we're going to pick him. And we have got 99 Pele. 99 Pele. Now we can go Diabala here with a marksman. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. It's a nice card. Boom. There we go. We got that Syria theme with Pelito. Now, oh, you want the Bamba? You want to chill with the big boys? I'm going to take this Rashford. I can't not, right? We, 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 did we pass up on a, we didn't, but we've already seen. And again, they, they've reverted back to last year's style, which I really don't like at all. And uh, what I mean by that is the fact that <clears throat> once a promo finishes, all of a sudden that promo card are flooded into the draft. And for the first time, I'm pretty sure ever. We might have seen him one other time, but Kamavinga is there. Um, I mean, I don't really have options here, to be fair. Luis Alberto. La Syria, but I don't really I don't really care too much about him. I don't really care to use Kamavinga, to be fair, either. High, high, six foot tall. I quite like Pedri. I really like Graben Birch. Graben Birch has got better defending and physical, or a better defending physical setup anyway. Doesn't quite offer as many links, but is is going to be the person I'm going to go with. Um, and then hopefully another Pim will show up. B -b 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 Pim's o'clock. We need Syria. No. Spanish League doesn't work. Argentinian, Brazilian. Little French. Boom. There we go. We'll pop that in. As uh, Diego Jota seemingly has just scored for... Liverpool, and there's Stones, gets that strong link to um, to Rashford. We've now got three in the team, and I think I have I have turned down Camavinga. So getting five of these cards now would be a, a, a relative walk in the park. No Syria again. We'll go with Unai Nunez. Man, Pedri would have been a much, much better pickup, right? I think we'll go with Eder and Militao as well because Pele gets a strong link into him or Gabriel Paulista. Eric Bailly obviously gets a strong link to Rashford, but I like what we've got there. I'm going to go Militao. If we swapped these two around, yeah, we gain a little bit more chemistry there. Actually, a fair bit more chemistry. So as Gomez whips in the ball <clears throat> and Jota with another header for a man as small as him. He sure does score a lot of headers. Um, Ramsdale gives Stones full chem, but I don't really care. We'll pop Soria in. I mean, this team isn't the best so far. We've got a lot of work to do in that midfield, a lot of work to do in that back line. Um, Ter Stegen. Courtois. Yes, Courtois over Soria. That gets 10 chemistry now on Eder Militao, which is quite nice. Next up, Super Upa or Verissimo. We're going Verissimo. Pop him in there. We lose three chemistry, but then we keep losing three chemistry because obviously Courtois loses chemistry, but Verissimo, way better. And come on now, just give me the give me the players that I need. 
Oh, Jaden Sancho at right mid. Kingsley Coman. No, man. And Dombele is also a no. Kessier kind of works. Although Vidal isn't on chem and I wouldn't mind switching him out. Let's put Sancho in here. That gets Sancho onto six chemistry. Six chemistry. Oh, because he gets the perfect link to Rashford. That is brilliant. We could actually probably put Vidal out there. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. I like that. I don't mind using Sancho there. We get Fofana, Chukweze. We'll take Chukweze. We don't gain any chemistry from him, but he just fits, you know. Next up. All right. Oh, Ilicic. Ilicic is definitely the guy that I want. I know we could have taken Hazard there as well. I want to put Ilicic in there. I want to put Graven Birch there. I want to get Graven Birch on full chem. I sure do. But. Hey. Christ. Ooh, Politano. Politano. It does give Balde or Dybala full chemistry. Cristiano Ronaldo. CR7 obviously can go up front. Pele in at cam. Ronaldo gets full cam. Pele gets full cam. <clears throat> then I have to miss out on either Dybala or Ilicic. Probably miss out on Dybala. I actually quite like that. Do that, we gain one. For the time being, we actually have to... Uh... I wonder if now... Right, we lose three there. That takes us down to 80. If we then put Sancho out there, that takes us up to 81. Yeah, it's a shame I can't actually use Pele there. That's still decent chemistry there, though. Oh, oh, there's the fifth. There's the fifth. I told you, man. Once we get there, we got there. You know, we're going to have to take that Lucas Mora as well and then put Sancho back in where he was. 92 Van der Sar would be so nice for chemistry and would be so nice to use. But Lucas Mora just makes sense. Everybody on the best possible chemistry and then Ronaldo swaps over there. Yeah, no, I just need, uh, I need that Pele link now. Oh, this is actually a real nice draft. It's just that one centre mid. Ah, oh, sure, minute. Not the links. It is just that one centre mid that we don't have. Oh no, we've got everyone on at least seven chem now, haven't we? Adama Traore, Di Maria, and Traore. We'll take Adama. Yeah, this is a good setup, man. Everyone's on minimum seven chemistry. 352 is there. We've got four of these uh, special cop. Baran is the man. He gets two off of Sancho, one off of Stones, one off of Pele. He actually misses out on full chem. And, and it does give Jones full chem, Stones full chem. I don't want Salah. Baran for Verissimo. Gives us plus three. It's all right still. It's all right. This is a nice team, man. Janazai, Suarez, Danny Ings. I don't want Danny Ings. Let's take Adnan. Hey, I like this team, guys. We have actually got four. We, we could easily have got five. I think even six of these foot fancy cars now. We've got 99 Pele, which I'm really excited to play with. Um, that is the draft. What are we saying? 92 with that manager. 90 with that manager. Hey, Smith it is. Let's see how it plays. All right, guys. I thought instead of showing the live gameplay, let's just show the highlights. So uh, the first game against Yo Max, we won 5-2. 61% uh, possession and uh, 23 shots to his eight. Man, I was just, I was literally just messing around by the end of the game. This was probably one of the easier games I've ever had. 
So the first one here is Lucas Mora, no goal. This guy tried to uh, bend that one straight in. I think it was Ronaldinho that had the corner anyway. And then uh, two minutes later, we scored this. Ronaldo runs through there and just boom, ball rolls the keeper. Yashin on the floor, 1-0. Marcus Rashford makes it two just a little bit later. Uh, Jaden Sancho there gets in behind. Rashford's there for the shot home for two. Uh, Courtois own goal here. <laughs> uh, uh, that's my first goal that I conceded. And then Ilicic for me scores here. Lovely little uh, Magidi cancel. Roulette around and then boom, fires that one home. We then got Cristiano Ronaldo on the stroke of halftime to make it four again. Jaden Sancho just doing absolute bits in the box. Cuts it back to Ronaldo who slams that one home. And uh, Balde scores the next one. Here he is in the box. Whoppa! A little rainbow flick volley for five. This guy did score one more. Um, Lionel Messi here goes through. He gets the ball there to Messi and it's a good finish from uh, Leo Messi. And then Balde off the post. Here we go. So we are driving to the box here. I tried to chip it. I green timed it. And it's still just rocketed off the post. So I will see you guys at the end of game number two. All right, guys. Game number two. We've got a nice and easy 3-0 rage quick. Goals from Sancho, Ilicic and Balde. Assists from Ronaldo and Pele. Let's take a little look at those uh, goals. And that is us very calmly, very quickly into the semi-final. So this first goal from Ilicic here. Uh, the ball comes into him. I just hit the green time from there. And it flies home. What a bang that is as well. That's not a finesse shot either. That is a power shot on his left peg. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he has got a beast of a shot there. Man, he slices that ball nicely as well. Very nice indeed. We then scored uh, this goal with Jaden Sancho. Your typical corner ball roll finesse shot. Overpowered, broken game mechanic. Piece of stupid goal, I suppose. I'm going to have to watch that again now. It is a nice finish. It's, it's just so broken, isn't it? If they give you that little bit of space, that little bit of time, you, you basically can't stop it. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we got the ball roll inside there with Sancho and then that finesse shot. Boom. It's, it's such a, he's not even looking at the goal. It's such a dumb game mechanic. It really is. I understand it. It has looped just over the keeper. And then last but not least, we pick the ball up here in the midfield. Lucas through to Balde. One, two with Ronaldo. Lovely little pass there. Balde around the keeper and home for three. And we're into the semis. All right, guys. So <clears throat> the semi final we won for three. Uh, I didn't notice as going into the game, but I matched up against somebody with a guest, um, which always makes it a little bit more challenging. I did, in general, control a lot of the uh, a lot of the portions of the game, but I went uh, one 0 up with Lucas Mora. The ball comes through here. Uh, I tried to use uh, Balde there as bait. It worked. Just the ball goes through the defender's leg there. Uh, Marcus Rashford then hits the post for me right here. We step inside, hit that finesse, and off the bar. And then these guys scored with their first attack with Abedi Pele. So the ball comes across here. Lovely little cutback. And uh, Abedi Pele puts in the back of the net. Cristiano Ronaldo, for me, though, guys, made it to one. Ball falls into uh, Ronaldo's foot there. And boom, great finish from him. But Jonathan Bamba made it 2-2 into the second half. These guys get the ball through there to Bamba. And uh, it's a good finish. Keepers in no man's land there. 68th minute, they subbed on Martinelli. It was only the informed Martinelli. Uh, and this is where I think the keeper does really bad for me. Um, I don't like... I don't know, man. Like, we won the game, so it doesn't matter, right? But look at Courtois. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? What, what are you actually, actually doing? But just as bad. Keita Balde for me in the 81st minute. Go through here. Lovely little ball through the defence. He takes a shot. What is their keeper doing? <laughs> Goalkeepers in this game are just so bad. Balde hits that shot. I think he moved like that, actually, because they moved him, Jersey Dudek. And then the 90th minute, we get the ball here with Lucas. Lovely little bit of excess dribbling. And the Ilicic flies that one home or floats that one in or however you want to say it. So we're into the final. I'll see you at the end. All right, guys. Into the final we go. And we've got a 4-0 rage quit. Assists uh, twice from Ronaldo. Once from Ilicic. Once from Mora. Two from Balde. One from Sancho. One from Pele. And let's take a little look at these goals. Um, I think uh, it was a real competitive game up until I scored the first goal. And uh, then my opponent kind of uh, fell apart there. And the first goal was nice. We get in with Lucas all the way to the byline. Cuts it across. Pele's there for the tap-in. And then Nikita Balde here with another goal. Lucas again doing bits down the right-hand side. Ball comes into Balde. Balde shoots. Balde scores. And as you'll see, that two of the last goals... Uh, the final two goals are both not in the um, highlights. And that's because the first one was scored. And then the second one, he had like really, really given up. So this... Oh, wow. The last one isn't even there. 
So this is goal three. One, two between Ronaldo and Sancho. The green time from Sancho. Um, and then, yeah, he, he kicked off. We won the ball back. He, he had just given up. He seemed like sliding all over the place. We put it across to Balde. Green time that home. 4-0 for the win. And uh, this guy had a sick team as well. He had prime moments R9 in his team, which was nice. But I thought I'd try something different a bit, I guess, for the gameplay today. Um, and show the highlights. And we get ourselves that draft win. Two red gold packs and a premium gold pack. Not the reward you really want. That is for damn sure. But you get what you get. And you don't get upset. I reckon we're going to pack an icon today. I can feel it in my bones. A prime icon moments would be nice. We do got ourselves a, an 83 Hoiberg. We can throw those two guys in the bin. And then open two rare gold packets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, big walkout. Argentina. Right wing. Lionel Messi. Oh, it's... Oh, oh. Do you know what? I, I, even when I saw PSG, it didn't click that it was an 89 Di Maria. I actually think he's worth a decent chunk, isn't he? Isn't he? Hey, do you know what? 50k is 50k at the end of the day, you know? You just you just can't fault it, really. Let's send those guys into the club. Let's list these guys up. Hey, man, if that, imagine that was messy. Well, I know it wasn't messy, but I, I, I'm very content with that. And then last but not least, guys, thank you for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, we get Ushmane Dembele and a 5,000 coin unlock. That is some fantastic, fantastic rewards. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.